There is an old Greek myth about a complex and intricate knot. This knot was given to mankind as a reward from the gods, and this knot was unlike any other. It was said that this knot was knit without ends exposed for untying, and that only a divinely appointed king would be able to untie this ornate, complex, and tightly woven knot. And when I think about the issue of world poverty, I can't help but think of this knot. Poverty is so complex, so intricate, that it would take the lowering of mountains and the raising of valleys to solve such a difficult problem. And it's not just that poverty is a problem. Poverty is interwoven with the darkest humanitarian crises across the world. Corrupt governments take aid destined for the poor and use it to fund their military coups. Families sell their children into slave labor or sex trafficking so that they can have money to put food on the table. And the poorest countries are too busy paying off international debts to spend money on the needs of their people. And HIV is killing in the millions and the pandemic is creating 6,000 orphans a day. There is a profound moment from the film version of Tolkien's Lord of the Rings trilogy. Two hobbits are in diplomatic conversation with an ancient and powerful tree folk over the future of their world. As the hobbits plead for help, evil armies are swarming the last strongholds of mankind. The entire fantasy world of Middle-earth is drawn into the climactic battle between good and evil, and these tree folk, they hesitate to get involved. After these tree folk counsel together, their leader, Treebeard, he tells the hobbits that they will not lend any help to the forces of good. We cannot hold back this storm, he says. We must weather such things as we have always done. This is not our war. How, how, how can that be your decision, cries Mary the Hobbit incredulously. You're part of this world too, aren't you? You must help, please. And I must admit that I feel like Mary the Hobbit most of the time. All the power and might for fighting global poverty, for untying the knot, for saving the world, sits on its butt doing nothing that it could. But once Treebeard sees the ravages of war, once he sees the death of his kind, he's driven to rage. In one of the most chilling moments of the whole trilogy, Treebeard roars in anguish, calling all of nature to arms, and growls to his hobbit friends, Tonight we go to war. As a Christian, it is my wish that one day we would do the same. That the church and the world would look upon their kinfolk in the developing world and roar with anguish and rage. That those who lift high the cross of Jesus Christ would show the world the same mercy that was once shown for all man. That the fortress of a very present evil in this world would be torn down brick by brick by brick. And that you, my friend, would join in. Consider this permission to go do something greater than yourself, because the Gordian Knot no longer exists. A prophesied king with a message of forgiveness and love and grace has swept the world. The answer to our Gordian Knot is Christ, who believed so much in loving his neighbor, he gave his life to them, telling us to go and do likewise.